Traditions and customs are national treasure. Kazakh people observe traditions over many centuries. The Great Steppe is an amulet of the country. You can watch the customs and traditions of the Kazakhs in the Modern Nomads program. The Kazakh nation is an inheritor of nomads who inhabited the Great Steppe. Our nation has got ancient customs and culture. What customs and traditions related to family and relatives have been preserved? We will search for answers to these questions. The Kazakh family customs have arisen within many centuries, further developed, improved. Those which passed the difficulties were selected such a way so only the best one reached our days. Therefore, till the end of the last century, there was not any divorce among Kazakh families, and there was not any orphanage until the 20th century. As many problems and contradictions have been successfully solved in the family, where the father plays a major role, and moreover, the elders of the village as well. Thus, the social crisis between the men and women was less than nowadays. However, this system gradually started to disappear. <laughs> At the end of the 20th century, slogans as women's equality became widespread in 1920. After all, when the choice of women is stronger, families should be stronger and better. But women's equality broke a certain balance in their families. As the husband rules the family, the wife must obey her husband, and both of them should cooperate, earn money, and work together as partners. <laughs> And when it comes to equating a woman's right with men, it is impossible for them to be equal. All parties, consignment, unions and public organizations, all concept of women's equality led to women's superiority. The relations in the Kazakh family were noticed by foreign naturalist traveler Alfred Edmund Brehm, who traveled to the Kazakh land in the 19th to 20th centuries. He was a well-known German naturalist and traveler who said, the Kazakhs keep their traditions and customs to make a good impression on the people around them. This nation is able to prove that they are educated people. All the traditions have been renewed under the influence of Islam. The role and place of the man in the traditional family is education, which is written in Islam. However, there are some reasons for this disintegration. When we move from the economic point of view to the market relations politically separated from the Soviet Union, when we received our independence, we were faced with big misunderstandings in family relations. As the women's society remained in the psychological state, we were equal to men. When the men came to the concept as family supporter, all the responsibility belongs to the men, was in the second plan. Then the wrong understanding appeared as women are family supporters who earn money for life. But there is a contradiction. Generally, in a traditional Kazakh family, man is the owner of the Shanrak, the father of his descendant who cares of his wife, the person who takes the full responsibility of the family. The numbers of women are increased to work in school, kindergartens, and the boys' activity decreased. The worst thing is that the responsibility can be lost. Responsibility for the family's responsibility for upbringing should be known by every man. <laughs> Today, 
қоғамдағы ең сұмдығы сорақылығы жауапкершіліктері төмендіп жауапкершіліктері жоғалып өтеді. Олпасын асырақ жауапкершілігі, оның тәрбесіне жауапкершілігі деген нәрсені екінің бір біле бермейді. In the traditional Kazakh family, the role of men was in a high level, but also had a great responsibility. The father of the family upbringing his sons to riding a horse, respecting elders, and being courageous and honest. In the history, Jirin Zhe introduced to his friends his six-year-old son as Azamatim, real man, as he trusts him when he grows up he will be a gentleman. However, the boys, who were not brought up by their fathers, won't have a strong character, as researchers said. Мына дұрыс тәрбие берген отбасында жаңағы еркегі билейтін әйелі оған бағынатын шаңырақтарда мұндай қиғаштықтар болмайды. There is no divergence in the family where the man is the main supporter of the family and a wife should obey him. I researched one work in the 90s of the last century. Boys who are born into the family where women rules are not able to fight in war. For example, during the war in Afghanistan, there were soldiers who were not able to make decision at the most important moment in their lives. As we know, the manifestation of indecision and girls who grow up in such families will never admit it to their husbands or admit it to their father. And the main task of a woman is to raise a descendant who respects the father. A descendant who respects his father also honors his mother, and children who do not honor their father will not respect their mother, and this will lead to such deviations. <laughs> Ол анасын да құрметтейді. Ал әкесін құрметтемеген балалары өз шешесін де құрметтеп жетістірмейді. Міне осында қиғаштықтар әкеліп соға деген. Grandfather and grandmother have a special place in the Kazakh family relationship. There is a saying, you will bring up your child till he grows up, and you will bring up your grandchildren till the end of your life. Elder people believed that their grandchildren would understand the noble qualities. Therefore, the child growing up and being brought up by their grandfather and grandmother. Owing to their upbringing, a child will be honest, kind and hospitable. The process of this life-giving makes possible for a family to become strong and stable. қай қоғамда болсын заман өзгерсе де біздің ұлттық құндылықтарымыз сақталуға тиісті. In my opinion, our national values should always be respected and saved in every society. Preservation of national traditions are very important as they are delivered to us by our ancestors. Owing to them, we became a nation. Therefore, if we preserve our traditions, the national education, our society will keep them. If we would like to see prosperity of our country, the young generation of each family should be in a very good relationship. A child who was brought up by a good husband and wife can support their parents, relatives, the fatherland, and serve their homeland. I think that the generation who appreciates family values will create a strong family in the future. In the family relationship system, it is as a child is obliged to obey his parents. Parents give their children money and cattle as well. And most of the time, the younger son will stay with his parents. The rule of the family was written by Russian Orientalist Alek Torov. The father has the right to take possession of property of the underage child. Even if a child works by himself, he cannot own the property. Children should respect and obey their parents and take care of them if their parents are poor. At any stage, family education has its own way of life.
көбіне енді жаңағы тек сөз арқылы тәрбие беретін болсаң, балаға айтатын болсаң, мүмкін ол тәрбие нәтижелі болмау мүмкін. When we often bring up our child with words, it may not be effective. That's why we should show them through our work. We always should remind them about responsibility and moral principles. To spend time effectively is reading books to our children. We would like to spend time very usefully with our children. When you complete the school, you need to be a good citizen and you have to know your own culture and how to behave, keeping all of our Kazakh national education. Everything depends on their own age. After school, you continue to improve your knowledge as a person searches their own way in life. And that's why we say that education is the right thing to do and receive. In our family, we try to give a good example to our son about how to respect the family, as he should respect his family. There is a saying as, motherland starts from the family. The Kazakhs always paid a big attention to the upbringing of their daughters. They were regarded as the guests and given the central seat in the room and at the table. The girls never sat to the lower sides at their parents' home. There is a saying or even comparison, they put their daughter on the right side of the threshold. The right side of the threshold means her parents' house. The threshold was always considered as a sacred place. Especially the yurt's threshold doorstep is a very sacred part because the parents believe that if a girl sits at the central and most respected place, their wealth will stay with them as the girls will leave the house and get married. That's why parents let them have a happy life in the father's house. The girl's life in her father's house is compared with the spring tulips. The tulip flower grows quickly, fades quickly, brightens quickly and pleases the eye. It is the same with a girl. She could have a lot of interesting moments on the right side of her father's house. Therefore, the girl tries to grow up to be a good example of a girl to grow up with good manners. Currently, mobile phones are the enemy of the modern society and in modern families. When Kazakh girls are married, they are not allowed to come to her parents' house for one year. The young daughter-in-law gets news regarding her family from other people, and this period lasts for about two years. But at the same time, it is good for the adaptation of the daughter-in-law to her new place and her new family. It will be difficult if the young daughter-in-law talks to her own mother every day. That's why the mother should support her daughter to adapt in a new family and should not speak with her for a while. The mothers whose daughters are married in the 1970s and 80s warned in the following way to their daughters. Do not come home alone. Come with your husband, otherwise the door of the house will be locked. Currently this tradition is lost. Such relationships will help in the future young family and easily adopt to the bride in her new family. There were written numerous articles and essays by foreign researchers, ethnographers and travelers about the Kazakh family and marriage relationships. However, they did not fully understand our traditions, our language and customs, and the meaning of our rituals. They gave a negative and estimate of some of the principles. The famous ethnographer Khalil Arginbaev made a great scientific and historical significant research. Today, the researchers in the field who are writing books are urged to adhere a code of conventional family relationships. Uh, 
The main rules of the family code are the knowledge of men and women and responsibilities as well. The main task of a man in the family is to provide family housing, feeding, dressing, morality and spirituality. The man has four tasks and a woman has four duties to her husband. The first task of a woman is to protect her husband's reputation. In the presence of her parents or husband's parents, always talk of good qualities of her husband. The attitude of the society for the husband starts with the woman's behavior. Therefore, the first task is to protect a husband's reputation. Second, to respect the husband's parents and relatives. Thirdly, to hold the husband's salary. Fourthly, to teach children a good manner and human qualities. Origin of family values is based on tradition and religion. There are numerous rituals which maximize charity, justice, devotion and generosity. Family education is essential if it is followed and extended to the next generation. Mukhtarovezov told on his time, if you want to be a good country, first of all you have to pay attention to the upbringing of the generation. I have my own saying regarding to this word. First of all, upbringing of a child, you have to upbring your wife, as for both of them, a man should be improving himself. That means a man should keep religious rules in his family to hold the principles of spirituality as well. If the bride will be wise, she will be in a good relationship with her mother-in-law and will respect all relatives. Nowadays, many brides would like to rule in her family. Some of them can be able to show their character. I do not believe that she will be happy with her husband. I think a young bride should love and serve her family. Her work will be appreciated in the future and everybody will respect her. The Kazakh families have traditions, charity between relatives and friends. Particularly in the wedding or in the funeral, the whole village will help to the family and support each other. During the hard times, people were ready to build or help each other in a time of trouble. For example, the governor of the Torgai region, 1865 to 1877, Major General Lev Baluzek, wrote in his article, Another good thing is Kazakh people helped for the people whose house was burnt or had difficulties in the cold season. There is a saying as there will be a lot of cattle if the relatives will be in a good relationship. If the sister-in-laws will be friendly, there will be a lot of food. That's why relatives should help and support each other. The Kazakhs are often supporting their relatives of close friends in the celebrations or funerals. In other times, communication between relatives is passive, as they can see each other once a week or once a month. However, it is impossible to break through the stream of life. The main tradition of Kazakhs, which eventually transformed into a feature of national character, is hospitality. In the Kazakh society, there is an unofficial law voiced in ancient times, which says, meet a guest as the God's messenger. Hospitality is considered a sacred duty in the Kazakh society. At all times, the steppe inhabitants did their best to please their guests. Therefore, each traveler knew that he or she would be welcomed anywhere in the Kazakh land. <laughs> 